Okay. Let's do your outfit of the day, Sonny. Got his basic gray tee, as usual. And his cute work pants. And his cute work boots. And you can never work without your knife in your pocket. Sometimes he forgets and they tackle him on airplanes and at concerts. <laughs> and your handy dandy magnetic pencil holder, quick snap. I can't work without this. Can't work without it. One day they're gonna sponsor us. <laughs> it's awesome. Magno grip. Yes. Okay, we keep going back and forth on what size table we want. I don't know if I want a square 42 by 42 or a rectangle three and a half by four and a half. So we're gonna cut out the three and a half by four and a half first and look at it. And then if I don't like it, I'll cut it on down to 42 by 42. And sixteenth. I'm gonna cut this side. Dude, down here. Four, you had five and a sixteenth. Yep. Anything over here. Okay, we cut it down to three and a half by four and a half. I don't know if there's such a table with those measurements, but now there is. Custom. I like it. <laughs> Another handyman tip when you're sawing, uh, you're gonna get sawdust all over your whole everything. So keep a little blower handy. Blow it all over your wife and your phone. <laughs> keep it clean, keep it tidy. We bought some one by six by sixes. We're gonna figure out what some sort of pattern. I think I might do herringbone to match my herringbone tile. He's gonna kill me again. Yep, wife wins. We're doing a herringbone pattern. So mark out your center of 42 is 21. <laughs> that was the easy one. <laughs> These are a little over six feet long, but we're gonna set the saw guard thingy up at three feet and get two out of one board. If you use your little guard thing, you don't have to measure each one. Very cool. I like anything that speeds up the process. I do everything fast. Cool. Two out of one. Not so long enough. <laughs> See that little stoppy thing? That is just wonderful. And you get three feet without having to measure every time. Saws are cool. Maybe I'm wrong, I don't know, but the center of herringbone looks like it's the center of the ziggy zaggy part in the middle. It is three quarter by five and a half. One by six is actually three quarter by five and a half. For some crazy reason. So find center of five and a half is two and three quarter. on a 45 degree angle. And this should work out, please. We put some glue and then I think we're gonna pin nail it. Now get out Penny the pin nailer. Hold it until the glue dries. Yeah, don't worry about these edges. We're gonna flip it over and cut off all the flyaways all at once in a minute. One of my favorite things, it's so satisfying to watch. Now just do the same thing on the next one. A little glue. Put a glue in between them. Sure. Mm-hmm. We gotta sand and fill the whole thing. A little bit of glue. Then penny to the rescue. When you're doing the herringbone pattern, it looks really tricky, but it kind of won't really let you mess up. Like, you know that one has to go next because you can't, if you put it over here, so you can't do that. You can't do that because you don't know where the heck to stop. But, you come here, you line up this edge, and you're good to go. Mm -hmm. It always flip flops. Like, if you do this one, then do this one, then do this one, then you'll do that one. That's Back stuck. and forth, yep.
We're supposed to really be working on this bad boy. It's not raining right now, but we have had some cray cray weather pop up storms. <laughs> so we're waiting on our carport to get here so we can put this under that before we go ripping the roof off. Cause I know our life and I know what'll happen. We are gonna get back to this guys. Hey guys, thought I'd show you guys the uh, outfit of the day. Oh my gosh, not really, just kidding. We're building a DIY herringbone table today for the little um, remodel house we've been working on. First, you gotta put on your dumpster, yes, the dumpster clothes. They got paint on them, it's all good. And your house shoes that your dog hates. Oh, she's ripped them. She thinks I got like a animal on my feet or something. She hates when I wear these. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> anyway, we're going to be in sawdust and glue and stain today, so you do not want to look cute. Ow! Lulu! She tried to kill the butterfly. <laughs> It got away. <laughs> she found a deer carcass out in the woods and she's been bringing us random deer parts home. I love her. She brought me a foot. No, deers don't have feet. What are they? Hooves. She brought me a hoof. <laughs> and a jawbone. <laughs> oh my gosh. Lulu, where are you going? Almost done. We were going to do an island in that kitchen because that little house don't have a dining room. But the island could only be like four and a half feet wide. So you're only going to be able to fit two, maybe three people there. So I decided to give them a table instead. They could use for an island if they need it. Or they can see this if you got small chairs, you could probably fit six around this table. It's gonna be like a gift. Cause we're sweet. Housewarming. Housewarming <laughs> gift. <laughs> it also helps stage it up a little bit. Makes it look pretty for the pictures. <laughs> These tables go for like six, eight hundred dollars. And they're usually not even real wood. We did cheat and buy the legs though. Uh, we're not, we don't want to get into that much DIY. <laughs> we don't have a lathe and all that stuff. <laughs> Turn some table legs. <laughs> I found some beautiful legs on Amazon for $100 for all four. So $25 each and they're really chunky and pretty. So we're going to have less than $200 in this table. And it's going to be even more beautiful than the ones you pay $800 for. Because my dude here is cool like that. He can build you anything you want. Cheap. Keyword. <laughs> You're so cool. Hmm. Proud of you. I hit the husband this, lottery, y'all. Love what I do. And I love you. We got one more little bitty one. Yep. Well, this looks plum cuckoo right now. <laughs> we'll flip it over and trim all this off. 
and then it's going to be lovely. Wow. Okay, now we have this wild looking piece of art. <laughs> Gonna cut them off. Here we go. Look how pretty. I love it. Now we're going to take some wood filler and fill in all the little cracks. And then, so you can see the side of the plywood and the side of the wood. I'm going to trim it out. Well, it's one by two. Right of the edges. I'll show that in a minute. Perfect. I love it. Wood filler. Turns it into one big solid mass of beautiful wood. Wood is good. Now we are going to attach the legs. We got our Craig. What is it? Pocket hole jig? Yep. Sounds like a cool new dance. Let's do the pocket hole jig. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Look at that. That's fairly cool. See, that thing made these handy, cool little holes for your screws. And then you can plug them. You'll never know they're even there. But we're not going to plug them because we want to take these legs off so we can take it where it's going easier. Oh boy, she's a four-legged beauty. Let's stand her up. Got some scrap pieces and I found some golden oak stain. Let's try it out and see if we like it. Sure. Okay, we tried every stain we had, and we didn't like any of them. <laughs> so we mixed provincial and driftwood together, like half and half, and we made this, which made this. So that's what we're going with. Provincial wood. Here we go. All right, wood self-tanner on them pale legs. This is not a black fingernail. I thought he painted his fingernail. I thought he was having like an emo moment. <laughs> What'd you hit it with? <clears throat> oh yeah, that's right. But that felt lovely. <laughs> I'm sorry. I missed it. I think I had a hair appointment or something that day. Oh. Got it all tanned up. Look at this beauty. Somebody, not me, totally not me. <laughs> Forgot to buy the one by fours 
that go down here. So an apron. it's called an apron, apparently. <laughs> That'll happen tomorrow. It'll be all done. Oh man, it's so pretty. I gotta poly it tomorrow too. Herringbone is beautiful. That is just a lovely table. Good job. The next day. Okay, it's the next day. We're gonna put the apron pieces on. <coughs> apron pieces. Thanks. What is this, like the DeWalt department? <laughs> that looks like a commercial. <laughs> Stanley, 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 DeWalt, Dockery. Mm -hmm. Love it. Putting these little blocks on here. It's going to attach to the bottom of the table. And then this side apron, <laughs> the apron pieces, <laughs> side pieces, are going to attach to those little blocks. Okay, all finished. Now it's a real table. <laughs> That's gonna look beautiful. I had to build the table before I could figure out where the chandelier goes in the kitchen. You know, it's all about the process. Okay, good job, go team.